Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the 19th century in April 15th, 1861. Now, this isn't where we left off, and I wanted to go to war with Oman, but I tried to record and go to war with Oman. Oman. It was going okay, but then the British re- or decided to get involved. So, now, I decided, what if we tried Morocco instead? As you can see on screen, I've just been caught, and it costs us 1.8 infamy, we're about a little under 20, and here is the war justification, and we have rebels. We finally have rebels in our place. In our place. Go ahead and put these rebels down. We should do okay, relatively okay. Uh, we should, yeah. We're going to make some bigger armies too, so. Uh, quite a few things. Uh, hopefully, you guys will be able to see this. I don't know. We'll see what happens, just because the amount of times I have to sort of save scum is a bit ridiculous. Oh, we lost 3,000 soldiers. That's okay. That's okay, just because we're making more soldiers as is, so. But this is the first time I have actually seen rebels pop up in our country. We only have 9.57 militancy and only 9.16 consciousness that's all that's all it is hopefully our soldiers can do well and hopefully we can actually go to war with morocco there we go so it's this point that we can't go to war with oman because actually for your comments oh they just were in the sphere of the brits okay that makes more sense no wonder i couldn't go to war with them but like you guys recommended either there was some support for taking out the tip of hormuz or the omani Arabian Gulf, but there was more support actually for taking out Zanzibar. Okay! Why not? As soon as I focus on Morocco, Zanzibar becomes free. And I wanted to take out Zanzibar, Zanzibar, because they got goods. Actually, the couple is in Kenya. Hmm. Cool, we got a lot of comments to go through anyways. But I guess at this point, I've already sent my ship over here. We might as well go to war. Hopefully no one intervenes. So we can either go to Al Rif, Marrakesh, or Moroccan Agadir. So let's take a look. Agadir. Well, it's got some population, it's got some fruit. I like fruit. But over here, Marrakesh. I think Marrakesh is probably probably better than that. We can't take Ifni because that's Spanish. They do have Casablanca, but that doesn't really mean too much to me, honestly. Uh, mountains, Marrakesh is not bad. Rabat up here. Uh, let's see. Northwest Bantu, Maghrebi, Berber. There's not really too many core cultures around here. We can't take Fez, obviously, but that's kind of cool to see. Al Rif. Ooh, that. Oh, look at that. Land, a lot of landowners and some intellectuals. This could piss off the Spanish if they do take this area later on. Because they have this. There's a lot of Spanish stuff up here. Oh, they have the Congo in their sphere, too, huh? Berber, Macrebi. Hmm. I mean, technically, if we took this, we would technically have access to the Mediterranean. Uh, you do get Tangiers, and they already have a naval port there, which is not bad. RGO-wise, there's a lot of wheat, or a lot of grain up here. I don't want to piss these guys off. And if we do get, like, Marrakesh, it's actually a full state, which I kind of like. Hmm. Defending down here is not great. Supply limit's pretty god-awful. But I don't want to risk a war with Spain, because I don't know if they'll be able to take this later on. Even if we go to war with Morocco, they might still want to come kill us. Uh, I'm going to go with Marrakesh. It's going to look really bad. Oh, but then again, I'm thinking about Border Gore. If we could, like, colonize this area, I'm pretty sure the Spanish would get down here pretty pretty much first. If we could take Agadir, that would actually link up pretty nicely. But screw it, we're taking Marrakesh because we can. Please, no one go to war with me. Please, no one invade me as well. Please. <laughs> we're going to need these two armies for this, though. Cool. Like I said earlier, we got a lot of comments to go through. Let's go and build... Do we have horses? We already have some horses, that's good. But another... You, because we need to. But we've got a couple other comments to go through as well. Let's take a look at this. So I asked you guys yesterday whether we should or should not make... invest into one technology called construction engineering or industrial construction or do two smaller techs. Well, there's support for both sides. Ultimately, it's come down to basically... Selecting two smaller techs, but at least get, or reforms, I should say, two smaller reforms, but get one of these that actually has some sort of technology. So we're probably going to go with basic education first for the education efficiency and more plurality, and then we'll probably go with imported artillery, so this way we don't need to research artillery, so we can have that right off the bat as soon as we basically reform. So we're going to go get education first. We prioritize education here in Western Africa. Pretty good. Yeah, we're going to need more boats. This is definitely not going to be enough. Good luck, guys. They, you, we'll probably take them out before too long. And actually, our national's focus is right there, still doing administrative stuff. 
Oh yeah, we definitely gonna need more people around here. Oh, for a second there, I, I saw the British flag and then this is red. Oh, oh, don't scare me like that, please don't scare me like that. We're not taking too much attrition. It's two percent, which is not great, but still, seventh in the world for military power. Not bad. I love Morocco. Uh oh, we lost a thousand, three thousand more infantry. That's not good. Good. Put them down. That'll be good. Because we got a lot of rebels here. So. Ooh, only 6.9%. That's not enough. Good. Keep going around. We'll do hopefully pretty well. Oh, hello there. Now, we don't need to see fully siege them out. Just because we're only taking a small portion of their territory. Not a whole lot. So. Casablanca. Thank you very much. Good, good, good. Sixth in the world in prestige. Seventh in the world for military score. This is actually a really fun campaign. And also keep it increasing relations with, not the Brits, because the Brits really don't like me. I'd love to have, have an alliance, but the German Empire. Increase relations, finally? Yes, please. Because someone keeps recommending I do that, so we'll do that. Morocco, how much longer do we have to do this? We only have nine war score, that's not enough. It's alright, though. And America's at war with Paraguay. Oh. They're fighting over this area. Oh, well, good luck, guys. Wow, we actually lost quite a few guys with that. Yeah, we definitely need cannons. Yeah, that would be good. Get two. Ooh, we might not need an extra army here, especially if they have no one else down here. Rabat. That would be good. Hey, they got some shippies. Hopefully that's the end of the rebels. Let's hope so. And once we conquer this area, we should do okay. We still need to conquer more territory, but it has to... Hey, look at this. Oh my gosh. Nebraska. Is that Nebraska? That's got to be Nebraska. And Utah. <clears throat> wow. Salt Lake City. I got a lot of coal there, but, um... You're mostly Yankees, yet you're Confederates? Um... Fort Robidou. Robidou. Um, this makes... Wait, how do they solve Arkansas? Um... I guess... Okay. This is a very weird civil war. It's not too extremely weird, but... Okay. Why not? Sure, why not? Why not? What are you guys doing? Oh, you're heading back down there. That's good. Good, good, good. How much longer for this? Not too bad. Not too bad. Teutonon? Hopefully, Mar Spain does not come down here and say, no more. Because that wouldn't be very good for us. Uh, let's see. 7.1% of our population can read again. That is great news. Please get education reform. Oh, but that's cheaper to get this stuff. There was support for us to get, like, financial and economic reforms and stuff like that. We could still oh, we but we could get transportation. Ooh, ex railroads. Railroad construction begins to take place in different regions, but education... Yeah, I, I gotta go with education. I love roads. I love building roads. I think this is the way we gotta go, though. Nice. Tangier. I mean, I, I would really love to get Tangier, but the RGOs here in Morocco, they're just okay. Wow, we, we're we smashing through this place pretty quickly. The Legation Quarter, some of the great powers have in the past few years sought to establish formalized and permanent embassies in the Tukolor Empire. But up until now, we've turned down their proposals. However, an idea has been floating around the capital that we should perhaps allow them to set up these embassies after all, provided they are kept in one place where we can exact some amount of control over them. Perhaps the Legation Quarter in Sagul could be just a thing? Do they, they have nothing to offer us? Ooh, the Spain, huh? They get a humiliate Casus Belli on us. I'm okay. They better appreciate this. Yes. Come on, is that sh that might be enough for us? Might be enough. Let's see. Actually, there we go. Reform system. This gives us more plurality, which is nice. Ooh, more monthly change. It's a shared level of consciousness in our country. The memories of the past victories and defeats in the name of liberty remind our people of what could be. Ad hoc schools. I mean, technically, if we go with this. We actually get more points right now, but I want more education reform. We, I want, we want, just more increased literacy. So. Are we done here? Yeah, we are. American Civil War. Yeah. I'm not playing as a CSA yet for quite a while because that seems really, really difficult. So. <laughs> oh, why did I do that? Because a lot of people don't like it that I choose the slavery options. I understand. You can't tax slaves. I know. I totally understand. But we just do it for the reforms and stuff, so. And actually, I'm just going to leave you up here because that probably makes a lot more sense. Actually... Can we, can we build any armies? No armies can be built up here. Well then. Well, at least we're at peace. But not for long. Now we gotta figure out who we're gonna go to war with next. Futatoro? 
Yes, please. Now, we'll see what happens. I'm probably going to have to save scum for this one a little bit, which sucks about whatever it is, but it is. Yeah, I do a lot of save scumming. Like, sometimes I try to experiment with, like, it's completely closing out of the game between, like, fade in and fade outs, just to see if it would speed things up, slow things down. And that's why I have set my auto saving to the first of every month so I can just reload the auto save. I know it's scummy. That's why I call it save scumming, but. 10%. At this point, I'm not going to really change it too much. We'll see what happens. You guys get over there, you'll be good. And actually, at this point, because we have Africa, and that's going to throw me off by... Actually, they have no recruitment up there, so... Doing this should be okay. Come on, don't get found up. Don't, don't, don't get found up. God dang it! I'll see y'all in just a little bit. Alright, everyone, here we are. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, on May 28th, 1862, we have got the Conquest Casas Bella against Futa Toro. And as you can see on screen, we've got some more rebels. How lucky are we? So, we're going to finish these guys off, and by May 28th, 1863 We'll go to war with Futatoro, hopefully before they get speared or anything like that. That would be very, 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 very bad. But right now, let's take a look. Not much has really happened off screen. I mean, I've just been waiting here. Look at the research points. Wow. And hopefully soon, we'll actually be able to westernize. Now, we won't be able to justify on other people that quickly anymore. Oh, helpful states. But, and this is a huge but, um, we should still do okay. I mean, my goal is to westernize as fast as possible, even though I would love to, you know, just find other people more quickly, more, 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 more quickly. Um, we can't quite do that just because... Well, I want to westernize as fast as possible, just so we can start doing more research. We gotta get research done, so this way we can still pal pally around, fight the European nations. That's my greatest goal, is to be able to put up a, a good fight. A good fight. A good quarrel against European nations. Let's see how America's doing. Wow, the Confederates aren't doing that well. What do you expect? Actually, they're doing really, really well in this part, the western part. Well, really, the central part of the United States. The eastern part, well... Uh, Europeans harassed, that's not good. But, uh, I guess General Sherman went down from the eastern parts of Savannah instead of going, marching through, like, Kentucky and... going this direction. Wow. Anyways, speech is hard. Alright, so we're over here. Just go to war anyways. Get it done before anyone... Uh, does anything bad to us? That'd be that wouldn't be very good. If people do bad stuff to us, we don't like that. Bad stuff is not good. Hmm. Hmm. How many research points do we get a day? Seven point eight. Good lord. Now we could we could do this right now and westernize. But hmm. 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 We do get a few more research points if we do conquer a little bit more. Ooh, I do want our imported artillery. Maybe we'll do that anyways. Maybe we'll save it up. We'll see what happens. Let's just finish this war first. Uh, actually, kill these guys off. That'd be fine first. Yeah, that'd be good. Nice. Actually, can we go? Well, they're in the, the sphere. Sphere. Gabu. Ooh, when do we when can we go back to war with those guys? 65? Good lord. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for that long to go to war with those guys then. That's not worth it. No one join the war, please. Can't believe we take up Morocco first. <laughs> uh, and actually, yeah, the faster we westernize, the more reforms we can probably... The quicker we can get to reforms, really. The quicker we can get to them. Bakel? Not bueno. Vilingara? More bueno. Actually, I should have sent him here, but I don't want any more attrition. Attrition is so bad for the country. Or the, the armies. Timbuktu? Yeah, I think I'll probably still do the artillery one. Just because that's pretty good to do. Yeah, we get so much research points. You know what? We might be able to do it and actually get a second one instead of westernizing immediately just because you might get a free tech and it takes time to get more tech, right? So, all right, so here we're at. So right now, we've got 10, 450. 10, 450. And obviously, these guys won't have that much research points. Thank you very much. Oh, let's do that one. Pisses people off. 10, 450. Oh, that's not bad. Um... Ooh, do we do it now or not? Hold on, let me think. Let me think here. Zanzibar, are you being sphered by anybody? Let's take a look, actually. The UK does have a little bit of influence in them. Ooh, no one wants us. Or maybe the UK does. That'd be kind of cool. And Germany is starting to... And, oh, even more of France. How long would it take for us to justify? Oh, we just acquire a state. 
Ooh, that's a long time. Uh, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna get grab artillery too. I'm gonna risk it. Now we go get found out. Obviously, I'll, I'll save scum a little bit more, but mm, we'll see what happens. Let's go do this too. There we go. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna split you guys in half. You guys go up there, and it's time to throw on artillery. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Please don't get found out, though. For the love of God, don't get found out. Cool. If that's the case. How long is it gonna to take to justify? A really long time, which kind of sucks. Oh, Argentina is gonna to go to war with Brazil. Yeah, don't don't worry about Uruguay. Don't worry about it. Nothing's going on down there. Especially slavery, of all things, in the new world. Especially down here. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it, guys. Yeah, I want Zanzibar. I want that gold. I gotta get gold. Kind of is not doing great, but that's okay. We'll get picked up later on. Oh, oh, we're so close. We're so close. Oh, we can wait a month. I don't want. I don't want to say it's coming anymore. Oh, we're just below twenty-five. Oh, we did it. Oh, it's gonna take forever to get through that, but that's okay. At least we don't have to say it's coming anymore. That's good. That's good. It's gonna take a while to do that. I'm glad that we did that. Thank you very much. Ninety days. We gotta start putting people on boats. Very soon. Uh, oh, they're allied with... Ooh, my. Well, we only have to take a province. We don't need to take that much. They have a score of two. And Majorteen? What the heck is that? Oh, they're right here. They have a score of two. Oh, that sucks. But it doesn't matter anymore since we already have... We're at peace. Whatever. <sighs> Can we get more points? We might be able to get, like, advanced construction. Ooh, and get post-Napoleonic thought. Come on, make these things faster. We gotta get on the boats. And it takes time for our people to actually move down here. Oh, it is only 1863. Woof. Come on. Nice. Eight in the world. Come on. Oh, yep, get get over here. Come on, and we'll throw you in the boats soon. Not yet, but soon. Because they need more morale. Unless, do they there we go. Do they get morale in the boats? We're gonna we're gonna try it out. Why not? So you need to go to war by eight. Uh, August 7th. Really, let's go by July 64. July 64, that'd be good. You guys, now get some artillery as well. Beautiful. That that costs quite a bit, though. That that does cost quite a bit. Freetown, huh? Oh, let's see. We have two things. Yeah, I'm going to save my diplomacy points for now because we're still uncivilized, so we don't get nearly as many as we should really get. Please, no one interfere. Please, no one interfere. 8.1% of our population can read. Nice. How many people do we have in our country? 40 million, basically. Wow. Come on, we're almost there. Please, no one get interfered in this. Okay, so on the boats, they don't get that much any more morale. Or organization, I should say. Good to know. Car State, I want Zanzibar. Zanzibar is Zanzibar. Sorry, Zanzibar, you're not going to have Zanzibar anymore. I'm actually going to go straight to... Let's go there. Let's get actually on the coast, and then we can probably take out the capital. Ooh, please don't get involved. Please don't get involved. The professor. Uh, control uh, intellectuals. We still need intellectuals, so. If we can quickly capture them, we can defeat whatever ship they have here. Which is probably a man... Was it a man of war or frigate? I don't forget which one's bigger. Light ships. Four frigates. Okay, then. Uh, sure. Mm, why not? Well, Zanzibar. Ooh, actually, I could make Zanzibar the place. This is 86,000. 51,000. Honestly, I think there'll be a lot more people coming to this part of Zanzibar. Let's make the base here. Just, it's easier to click on. That's why I'm doing that. Uh, we got one more. Oh, that is so nice. And you know what? We can at least get post-Napoleonic thought, right? So, we lose some money, who cares? We get a free technology. Now, obviously, it doesn't take that much to research this. It's only 3,000 points. But, actually, if we waited any longer, it would take a little bit more time to get something like that, administrative reform. Over here, it just takes a little bit too long to get. Army schools is not bad, but that's not really worth it. And then at this stuff, you don't get any more technology. This stuff takes too long. So, why not? 
Embrace westernization. Our country is under intellectual assault by modernity and the western world. In the field of modern technology, industry, and military theory, the old traditions and institutions no longer serve us as they used to. Everywhere we turn, western influences spread like wildfire throughout our nation, our population, and our souls. If we were to remain what we always have been and not become something else entirely, now is the time to assume control of our own destiny. It has become apparent to the leading members of our t intellectual elite. The only way to turn to the tide on the western leviathan is to swim with it, for as Sun Tzu says, the reed that bends before the wind also offers a form of resistance. W Wagons West, we become a civilized nation, we get some prestige, change to a traditional academia, we get more population growth. Oh, I don't, oh, ooh. We have the 34% chance of getting population growth until 73, 72, or 74, wow. Western influences is gone, for every province is all the low, not at core. Oh my goodness. We got a second focus. National focus. Let's go and slash this a little bit more. Uh, slash this a little more, too. That'd be good. Wow. So, I don't understand. At 100% administrative efficiency, that's good. Crime, crime fighting effect, 44.5%. If I lower that, does that still, can that still be at 100%? We could try it. I don't, I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments below, because I don't really know. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, we can build forts, too. Oh, that's so nice. This is this is ugly as all heck, but oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually cored or we civilized. Jesus, that's awesome. Ah, so nice. Infantry. Uh, Zarya, where is Zarya? Oops, this is not like Hoi Four. You actually have to go to where search. Oh, it's over there. That's fine. Cool. Yeah, there's no hotkey for that. We are, no, we're ninth in the world already. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Oh, we actually have an upper house. Oh, let's actually get to some more comments. Almost, almost knocked over my water, but let's get to some more comments. Islamic law. Oh boy, we lose research points. We get more tax efficiency. We lose political awareness. Literacy impact on con. Oh no, we gotta get rid of Islamic law then. Oh no. Let's see, anything else around here? Oh, we gotta do some research too. Oh, we actually unlocked... Oh yeah, we've already unlocked a lot of this stuff. Wow. Okay. Culture? Industry? I want roads so badly, but I gotta go with idealism. Ooh, education would be so good too, but idealism, yeah. We need more research points. Alright, so. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Um, let's see. Let's look at administrative stuff. Actually, revolt risk. Actually, that's a lot better than before. We used to have a lot more revolt risk all over the place. Even Morocco's relatively calm. Yeah, I don't like Islamic law now. Um, hmm. Oh, we need a naval base there too. Actually, what is that? Political machine. Okay, that's cool. Oh, and these... This is a... <laughs> oh, I love the colonies. Let's go. One. Two. That'd be good. Uh, what's, what are we... Uh, so that's revolt risk. Administrative... Ref oh, boy. There's, we, need, we need a lot of administrative goodness around here. We're doing better around here. Up here? It's not very bueno. Of course, a lot of these places are... Oh... How many places are actually colonial provinces? Wait, we can build... We can build factories, too. How about down here? Administrative stuff. It's not very good. Hmm. Hmm. We could put bureaucrats. Because around here, I mean, it's, our core territories are pretty good. Even here, though, we could probably use bureaucrats. Let's get some bureaucrats. And just in case, let's build up some land forts in our capital region. Control shift. Oh, I hope... Control, con click control. There you go. Well, I guess it's time to start building ourselves up a little bit more then. Oh, look at that money. Wow. Let's see. So what do we have? Actually, you want to? You need that one too. That's fine. We've got plenty of money for that now. Let's see. What RGOs do we have around here? Da -da -da cattle. Um, I guess we make like a... Oh, we can't make too much. we got to research more. I was hoping to make some canned goods. Bottling that work? I we can make one, maybe. What other RGOs do we have? Oh, look at that. Precious metals. Anything here for precious metals? No? Didn't think so. There's a lot of fruit. And some fish. Maybe that's some more forts up if we really want to. Squalid slum. The reeking putrid stench swelling... Or welling out of the old house smells like mold and rotting timber. There isn't a soul about, save an old drunkard who scurries out through a back door at the first hint of light shining in through a suit-covered window. God alone knows for how long this window, this house has been standing here, but its dilapidated state paints a clear picture of what our nation has become in the past few decades. 
Poverty is becoming ever more widespread, and housing like this is standard for far too many of our nation's poor and downtrodden. Inf infinitely worse, these unsanitary hovels are an apple breeding ground for filth and disease. Call for a parliamentary investigation. Yes. Ooh, ooh. More trinket healthcare. I like that. What's our upper house looking like now? Not that liberal. 5% be good at 26.5. Oh, look at the reforms. Closed borders. So, yeah, at this point, hopefully we get a lot more consciousness because we still have a lot of slavery, obviously, and, and infamy and natural confusion. So, hmm. I like drinking healthcare, but let's get more liberal support. Oh, this is 5%. We only by by 4%. Huh. Look at that money. Uh, let's see. Anything else around here? Rotten burrows, huh? Well, that's not, obviously not ideal. How's the military looking? The spirit of freedom. Okay, Jacobin rebels, rebel, rebels rebel organization plus 25%. Well, that don't seem too good. Region diplomatic. RTOs. Anything unique? Very bueno. Oh, there's some tropical wood, but we can't really access that. Anything down here? Fruit. Oh, there's wood, but that's a colonial province. Darn it. Anything around here? I mean, obviously there's gold, but we can't build there too, so. Alright. I'm not really sure what to build then here, because there's not that much that we can really build. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Please. Now, don't call me into any war, because I will, I will turn you down, UK. I will turn you down faster than anything I've ever turned down before. Yeah, we gotta fix some of these armies up, because they're not looking too good. Wow. So, other comments. So, I should play as Mocha. I'm not sure where Mocha is. Let's see. Is Mocha still alive? Is that, like, Middle Eastern or, like, Russian or something? I don't know. Mocha. No. Oh, there's Mocha. Mocha. Most of the beak, basically, but no? Okay, cool. Plays Austria Hungary. I'm a little apprehensive to play some. Oh, Italy's here too! Just because I'm not sure about Austria Hungary how to really do well as them. Oh, Romania's there. I don't think I can really protect you guys. I'm sorry. Peruvian thought. Oh, yeah, we saw it down here too. Wow, it's a giant mess. They're in the sphere. They're allied with Spain. I don't want to go to war with any of these guys like this. No, 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 no. Um. Oh, we do technically own these people, too. They're not a colony, though. So hopefully we can get rid of slavery soon. I do want to get rid of slavery, yeah. I really do. It's not very good for the nation. Despite everything I did before. Um, military recruitment? No. Nothing's going to be really good there. Yeah, I don't think anything really good. I don't think it's really worth building anything here. Maybe a bottling network, but we don't really need another one. So hopefully we get more research points, get more education efficiency. That's like... Really, really important since we don't have a lot of money. Oh, we actually have plenty of money. We don't have a lot of research. 8.8% .8 of our population can read, but obviously not good enough. And I'm going to be building up a lot of forts because we can. I'm sorry, Bolivia. I just don't think it's really important for us to ally you right now. Actually, how's the migration going? Uh, let's see. No one's really leaving, it looks like, yet. Which is a good thing. And we're building up our, more of an army. Oh, we have 8 people leaving to the U.S. and Venezuela, so... That is what it is. And we got more Diplo points. Can we... Like an alliance? Wait, what is going on here? Three people from Denmark? Okay. Cool. Now I feel like we have a free reign to do whatever we want, unless someone doesn't like it, but whatever. Now... Oh, no! Abdullahi Fodio is gone. That's not good. That's too sad. Big sadness. Zanzibar. Let's see. Yeah, you need more infantry there. Hey, Greece. I can't protect you, Greece. Oh, oh, we could get rid of slavery. Freedom of the womb? So, how many people... Oh, no one prefers that, huh? Debtors' prisons. State press only? Ruling party support. Suppression points gain. Censor press. You get more political awareness. We can do this, but hopefully a little bit more. No voting. Yeah, we're not going to let people vote. Uh, Education efficiency goes down by 3%. Neutral. Bankruptcy. Illegal. Social reform desire is not bad. Harassment? Hmm. Meetings not allowed. Immigrant attraction. We get more suppression. But if we do this, we get way more political awareness. Actually, what is the thing that people want the most? Pro military. Oh, that's what they want. Or that they are in favor of. Important issues. Hmm. Well, I would like some more political stuff. And I don't like. 
the literacy impact. So we gotta go with Sensor Press. And I'm gonna be using and abusing this increasing consciousness because we still have slavery. Whew. Nice. Make more armies, make more armies. That is so good. We can build even more armies. What's our population like? 40.75. Hey, we discovered modern sail ships. Sailing ships. Wow, that looks really really good. A lot of green. I like that. Oh! Oh, crap. Okay, you guys actually go through the jungles of Africa. That is not what I wanted. That is definitely not what I wanted. That's actually kind of cool that we can go through there, though. It's kind of cool. Alright, so you guys go over there. And don't do that either. Actually, at that point, see you later. Alright, at that point, you're okay. You guys are okay as well. How are you guys looking? Y'all you you all be fine. So, where are these guys all headed? I was wondering why I was taking forever. We're ninth in the world. If we can get... We probably won't get any more prestige. That's alright. We're gonna do that too. I don't want anyone that's outdated or just injured already. 9% idealism. So, how do we get rid of Islamic law? National confusion, which will go away eventually. Oh, assimilation rate goes down. Slave demographics? Huh. Baby boom? Oh, god, we have a baby boom. That's right. Nice. Very nice. I'm, I'm glad we're the royal faction because it gives us more. That gives us state capitalism, and I like state capitalism. Ooh, actually, get rid of one of these infantry guys. That'd be good. You could probably get rid of one of you guys, right? There you go. There you go. And, and replace it with one cavalry and two artillery. Well, one cavalry and one artillery. There you go. That should be a little better. Two artillery, two artillery. Sure, guys, you need to move through? Yeah, don't, don't mind us. Ooh, oh, they canceled the naval base or two. Cool. Um, we got the money for it. Might as well build more forts right now. That's okay with me. Nice. When can we go back to war with them? I don't mind going to war with them again. Go to war with them by 67. It's not bad. How's the Civil War going? Not good for the Confederates. Not good. And that's okay with us. Very cool. Elections, colonial crisis. If you would like to read about this, go right ahead. We must seek an effective, honest, and diligent administration. Very concerning, but oh my, it's almost tea time. Cricket, anyone later? I don't think we'd actually say cricket later. It says, I don't, I'm not sure what sports we play down here, but I can't imagine that it'd be cricket. Just saying. Oh, did it get rid of this? Oh, it did get rid of that. Okay. Whatever, that's fine. Hmm. I mean, technically, we could beat these... Oh, my goodness. We could beat them up, but... We could go to war with Chile and Brazil. What can we do against Chile? Oh, someone did say in the comments below from yesterday's video we should colonize down here, but... We'll see what happens since... Yeah, there's a lot of things going on already. Can we actually go to war with you guys and make them a puppet? That'd be kind of wild. That would actually be really, really wild. Chilean puppets? Bolivia. Hmm. That's a long time. 167 days might be better, though. But that could pull us into a lot of wars that we don't want to get involved in. Yeah, and we're still forming our army up. I think it's just best to wait for now. Let's just wait. Actually. Actually. Uh, Asia, how are you doing? Oh, you guys have a lot of spears. Oh, and they cut off Burma from everyone. God dang it, you, you suckers. How about you guys? Vietnam? I think France does go for Vietnam eventually, so... Hmm. Oman's in the sphere. You guys are down there. Gelady? Hmm. Not sure who else to take out. We're probably gonna need our ships back, too. Just saying, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, let's see. How's this looking? Not too bad. We need one more. Actually, we need one cavalry division. Which we should have done very, very soon. There we go. And, well, I'll just spend a little bit more money, right? Not bad. Maybe we should go to war with Bolivia. Maybe we should. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should, though. I don't want to lower my military score because we are on the cusp of becoming a great power. You guys, we got one artillery. Let's grab some more then. Four. One. There we go. Beautiful. 
So, you know what? I think we can end the episode there. It's not a super long episode, but that's totally fine with me. We're done great. I can't believe we westernized. But let me know. Who should we go to war with next? Should we should we puppet Chile? Because all we have to do is fight them and Brazil. I think we do pretty darn well. Should we puppet Bolivia? Peru? Maybe we should just take a state. Let me know in the comments below. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow with a westernized Tucalor Empire. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.